I don't know why it's not a more well-known fact. But the animal kingdom is ridiculously gay. In this video, I will be listing off instances of gayness in animals going from somewhat to very gay. And in the end, you will find out which animal is the gayest. Now, before we start with the list, let's answer the question. Why are animals so gay? With birds and mammals, same-sex intercourse is common among young adults because it provides them with practice and strengthens bonds within groups. Additionally, animals with more fluid sexuality are more likely to reproduce. Researchers have dubbed this the bisexual advantage. Not to be confused with something certain species of male fish and birds do called female mimicry. Male ruffs, for example, have been observed to distract other males by having sex with them. But it's only so that they can then mate with a female while the competition is elsewhere having a sig, which isn't particularly gay. So what interests researchers, and me, more is monogamous same-sex animal pairings and the Darwinian paradox of non-reproductive sexual behavior. I will save you the trouble of reading boring papers some nerds wrote on the topic because they all seem to conclude the same two things. Behavioral studies take a long time and it's probably just preference. So how about we get to the first case study, flightless tuxedo critten. Gay penguins were first spotted in the early 20th century but this was kept in relative secret. Now there are many famous cases around the world of penguin same-sex romances. Some of you may have heard of Sven and Magic, the two male gen 2 penguins had even adopted an abandoned egg and then a baby penguin chick came out of it, oh shit, and its name was Svenjik. But that's not a singular case. Around 28% of Gen 2 penguins engage in same-sex courtship. Absolutely gay on the official gay animal scale. When I think about penguin sexual relationships, they are very similar to human ones. You know, with their prostitution currency and cell culture and lifetime romance. Not to forget a certain penguin called Grape that courted and got penguin married to an anime girl cardboard cutout. That's sad, but for some reason human. I hate these birds. A swan, on the other hand, is not just a bird. It's the Cartier of birds. Beautiful chicken. Monogamous like the penguin, but not like weird and evil. It's an actual symbol of love. And around a fifth of swan couples are swan gals slash bros for life. Some of the ones that want bird children go off to mate with the opposite sex and then once the egg hatches they drive away the other swan. Which is awesome. Also to recently crowned King Charles who owns all the swans in the UK now, release them. They are so feral, let them go, leave the UK, appoint me as king. Oh, and it's not only the hot popular birds that are gay. A third of Oahu albatross pairings are gal pals. They also seek out other males to father the children, sometimes leaving the kids with the male, and stay together for life. Which is around 50 years, by the way. Bugs can also be super gay. In fact, the first scientific illustration portraying same-sex animal intercourse is of two scarab beetles. It gets a bit trickier with them because there are two types of matings when it comes to bugs. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, here's some fucking kids, and today is the day I lose both my virginity and my life. But I found that in the first case, the insects appear to not really care at all who they are mating with because it will be over in two seconds and honestly, they just mate anything that smells like it might get them children. Not gay, but they are biologically slutty. And studies have shown that the insects that display this behavior are actually more active, better foragers and overall better competitors for whose genes get to stay. Good for them, but they aren't exactly monogamous either. Now hold on tight, we're going into mammal territory and it's about to get gay. Elephants have same-sex relationships with each other beyond just intercourse, grooming, kissing, touching, trunks and weenies. Until the age of four, walruses are almost exclusively gay. Then they realize they can be bisexual during mating season in particular and the rest of the year they can still embrace and sleep with their male partners. But what animal is almost exclusively gay all its life? Same-sex relationships make up to over 90% of all observed sexual activity in giraffes. Male giraffes spend many hours courting and rubbing necks with each other 93% and all I could think about was this mine. You guys say Colorado! I'm a giraffe! Beautiful coming out story. Anyways, what's your favorite gay animal? There are a lot I didn't include in this video, you know, like you. Comment below and subscribe to the Poopy Show now. Regret it later.